Well, it's never too early to start talking about free agency in football. Here are some of the most important dates, and they're a way off. We're talking about that tampering period, contacted unrestricted free agents, March 12th to 14th. It's basically when these teams sign these players they want, but they can't officially sign them. Kind of like Gruden weeks ago was the Raiders head coach. And then, of course, all these people have to criticize the Raiders for violating the Rooney rule, you know, even though they did not violate the Rooney rule. It should be called the Al Davis rule, if anything. He hired the same black guy twice. No other team was doing that. But he had different reasons. He just thought he would be the good coach. He would be the proper replacement. But basically, March 12th to 14th is that little tampering period where agents contact um, players. They set up no contracts. They touch base, if you will. And then on March 14th, free agency begins. And the draft is on the 26th through the 28th. But before then, I would think there's many things to look at. Hopefully this video works correctly. We are now on Spot Track. It's a website that keeps track of contracts. It's pretty outrageous to look at. But it's very uh, helpful. And this is the 2018 salary cap. I guess this is up to date. including the estimated or including estimated cap space assumes 176 million team salary cap at the top is San Francisco now they came on pretty strong in the end they're going to be kind of like the Raiders a couple years ago where they're going to be able to if they want to dip into free agency I'm not familiar with their team, what they need, but those are going to be kind of like the Raiders were, Jacksonville has been doing of late, last year they did a lot, Tennessee did a lot, Tennessee still has a lot of space. And the Raiders, they, uh, they're in the middle of the pack, 20th, 20 million. But they have a lot of players that they'll be looking at as to whether they're going to keep them. Sean Smith comes to mind. Will they re-sign uh, Carey? They might have to. This site's also good for free agents. And you can break it down. Position. I think most Raider fans grade that cornerback is a major concern. And here are the uh, free agents. Uh, I believe Jermaine Johnson, didn't he sign with uh, with the Rams? On a one-year contract, or was that? What did they make him? Um, 
they franchise tagged him. Because it looks that way to me. Because he, I know he was a free agent very recently. Well, he is again. He's 28 years old. And this is one of the players the Raiders did not look at. I don't know what kind of season he had. Naturally, there's a more premium version of this. Probably for people who really look at this stuff. I'm not going to flip through everything. But the Raiders will be looking through this list, most definitely. They'll be looking in the draft, too. What was that guy last night that got that interception? That bounced off his his helmet, bounced back to the receiver, and then he ripped that out of his hands? Tony Brown. One website had him uh, ranked for cornerbacks. I think it was like 17th. But that's the type of guy who could come on in the combine. Show something. And the type of guy the Raiders might be looking at. Because really the Raiders. The Raiders need some ball hawks. <laughs> it wasn't until Bowman came to the Raiders. That they got their first interception. In, was it like week 10? <clears throat> this tells some st stats on here. Not every player is going to have stats. I wish they did. I wish for like wide receivers we'll look at later. That they would show drop passes. I mean, I think that is a very important statistic. Uh, but this sort of thing does not say everything about a cornerback. Cornerbacks who only have a couple interceptions or one interception doesn't mean that they're bad. Because they might not be getting that many targets. Should probably show targets as well. But you can go to the top of the list. And this is what people thought to pay these people last year. So really there was only really one real premium. Then you go down to a second tier. The Raiders were pathetic. And what's going to complicate things is, you know, how they deal with Mac. I don't know if they're going to, like, work out a contract with him. I imagine it's going to be structured. Because they're going to want to get as much um, room with the salary cap. I don't know how they'll do it. I mean, because they could, they could backload it. Because they're getting to the point, it's not going to be any more like front-loading all these contracts. Because they're not going to have the room. I don't know who they're going to cut. I think it's kind of funny Don, Donald Penn is out on his publicity tour. Talking about his first three seasons with, with Gruden. And he looks forward to working with him and uh, I think many Raider fans wonder if he should even be on the team. Yeah. And he just had surgery on his knee. He's getting up there in age. And left tackle will definitely be an area. Now I'm looking at these. I mean, I don't think they're going to bring back DJ Hayden. But I do think they need some help here. A lot of teams, they just draft these young players and they just do well. Raiders draft people who are accused of rape. 
and then they get shin splints or something, and next thing you know, they're not even playing. Even though he looked good, Conley looked good when he was in there in the Jets game. That one batted ball. He probably does have really good ball skills. He'll be better if he actually caught the ball, but he's a cornerback. That's why he's a cornerback. I don't think the Raiders can do the Al. This is an Al Davis pick right here, Tremaine Johnson. But how good is, good is this guy? The Rams have a very impressive defensive line. And that helps cornerbacks tremendously. That is another area. As I sip my Dunkin' Donuts coffee. No, I don't go to Dunkin' Donuts to buy it. It's too expensive. I make it the way I want it. Nice and dark. And strong. Defensive tackle. See, Vanderdose, he ruptured his, um, his knee and uh, ACL tear. And that is the type of injury that can take a very long time. He might be done. And so they have to, they have to look to see what they can get in free agency, possibly. Because no one else seems to be doing anything. And he didn't do anything, really. I mean, at times, it appeared he was more concerned about the individual battle with that player in front of him than he was at getting to the quarterback. That's a little problem there. You gotta be very wary about statistics. About these guys that got five sacks, ten quarterback hits, and you're looking at him as a bargain. This is a guy you might want to bring in. But is it part of the system? You really have to evaluate these guys individually, and I am not a scout. You have to look at them individually, if, if possible. I mean, it's not an exact science. Because the Raiders have patched guys in before. What was his name? That was on the Dallas Cowboys. He had all those interceptions in the Super Bowl. I think his name was Brown. He was brought in. He was terrible. Because he was part of a system. He was... I think it was a zone defense that that Dallas ran. And Al Davis likes the bump and run. Boy, it did. And it did not work out well. A lot of people think that Sean Smith came from a different sort of defense. And that's why he struggled. Well, he looked pretty good in the last couple of games, but he might be fighting for his job. He's another one of those gold chain is. What is this gold chain crap? You're playing a football game. Another possible area, because is Bruce Irvin going to be brought back? His defensive end. Yeah, there are guys on this list that are going to be looked at, but they're also going to be tagged. You got to imagine someone like Demarcus Lawrence, who had 15 sacks, 27 quarterback hits, is going to be tagged. Now, there's, you can give up, I forget what it is, to um, try to outdo their tag. It depends on what kind of tag, I believe. I'm not, I'm not a GM, so I'm not going to know. 
exactly the whole tag. School of tagging. But certainly you're going to look at... Hey, Cleo Mack has got no one on the opposite side to let compete with. Now, Irvin did come on in the end. He dropped that stupid protest stuff, and he he decided you know, he would do things physically himself outside of the game, which is the right thing to do if you want to do something. Instead of nailing and trying to do this symbolic gesture crap, Well, this guy's gonna be highly uh, highly sought after if he if he's let let go of Dallas. We're gonna have to look at Dallas's uh, salary cap. The salary caps they they can be adjusted like crazy. Twenty five years old. I think Mac would love to have him on the opposite side. We're going to have to go right, or is it, Cap Draga? This, where are you? Right around the radius. That guy's going to want money, though. They're going to have to pay him a lot. He put up better stats than Khalil Mack. Unless you go to the pro football focus. Go to all this little nerdy stuff. Whatever. The bottom line is. Khalil Mack didn't wreck games. He didn't take over a whole game himself. He's not Lawrence Taylor. Sorry. He's not. He can actually be neutralized, especially when there's no one else on the team doing anything. For most of the season, Irvin was non-existent. Of course, you can't just have two bookends. And be wishful thinking for the Raiders to get Mac's book in. You need something in the middle to like collapse the pocket. Right now, they're not getting that. They're just not getting that. And here are the top ones available. Dontre Poe, he, I think he got a one-year contract. He was on Kansas City. I don't know if it was the game before last. He just bounces around. They're very hard to judge as far as like the stats that are being given right here. Because oftentimes what they what they do is they occupy blocks and and collapse the pocket and allow other things to happen. For the defensive ends. <clears throat> now Gruden is going to attract some players. Some players are going to want to play for him. But then again, some players are being asked. These young players. What do you think of Gruden? Oh, he's that guy in the booth. They just think of him as Monday Night Football now. Take a look at this list. Nothing really, really jumps out. Of course, you're not really going to get sacks out of a defensive end. I mean, defensive tackle. Like I said, they more or less occupy blocks. They allow the linebackers to get in there and stop the running back and stuff. 
certainly the Raiders have to look at defense. I mean, it is pathetic the way they played on defense. Except they played pretty well under Pagano. I do think I do think it was a monumental disaster miscalculation on the part of Rio to go with his friend who was way in over his head. Definitely need to get pressure on the quarterback. And this is another, when you start talking about defensive tackles and especially defensive ends, this is another reason the Raiders need to move to Vegas right now. Zero state tax. That cannot be understated. Throw away all this sentimentality of Oakland. Playing in that awful stadium with a I guess, run an open sewer. But the real sewer is California, which is a socialized state, and tax is something like almost 14%. That's huge. I mean, if it was 10%, on like a huge contract, when you talk about some of these players are going to want like $50 million contracts or whatever it might be. I mean, talking about the top players, you know, huge contracts or even the real top players, top, 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 they want like $100 million. That's $10 million bucks, And they have to pay, you know, the federal, even though Donald Trump is giving them a, a, uh, a cut. Ten million dollars is a lot for these huge players. They just want the money. Or they would play for free. Not they're not in it just for playing. I mean they want to get paid. Another area that needs to be looked at is receivers. I say receivers because I'm not sure exactly what sort of offense Gruden has in mind. I don't, I really don't know. I mean, you have a quarterback in Carr who's got an arm, so you'd think it's going to be a, a an adaptable offense. One that could show many different looks. I think that is the latest trend in football. So you need multiple facets. You won't just have like some sort of, you know, power, power offense, sort of like a Pittsburgh type offense where you have, sometimes you're going to throw in three tight ends, you're going to run the ball and you're going to throw short passes or, you know, play action pass and you're going to have one, one speedy receiver or a couple they're going to use. I don't think it's just going to be like that. I think it's more like looking at Patriots type offense, where they'll they'll show multiple type of looks, double tight end sets, and then they'll no tight ends, no uh, I mean five wide receiver sets. But the Raiders had severe problems. In this, one thing I don't like about this page, like I said before, is where's the drops? I want to see the drops. This guy dropped. Um, for Washington, only 240 yards, nine games played. Now Gruden, when he was on the Raiders, he had the luxury of having two veteran wide receivers. And I'm wondering if they're going to bring bring in a veteran wide receiver. Who knows what's happened with Crabtree? I have no idea. It was the last administration that uh, sort of benched him in the last couple games. And he had had a conversation with Mark Davis. No one knows anything about. 
like before the last game. Mike Davis might have been saying, don't worry, everything's going to be okay. Because up until Crabtree got that, that uh, pay increase, he was the best wide receiver on the Raiders. It wasn't Mari Kuba. It was Michael Crabtree. He caught everything. Then he got paid. Then he started dropping passes. It was blamed on a hurt finger, a hurt hand, or something. I don't know. But last year, what was the excuse? Jewelry? Jewelry again. I don't know who on this list would... Wow, $6 million for prior. Who on this list would uh, warrant attention? Sammy Watkins was the receiver many Raider players wanted to select. They selected Mac instead. I don't know. I just wish they showed drop passes. Really. I'm going to have to complain to the website. Because that's really like a... It's a no... Um, it's a deal breaker with me. I was so used to as a Raider fan. 1983, I remember. Or just the 80s. Todd Christensen, he never draw passes. Don't have a draw pass list. Most of these have moderate salaries. So if I made me like Mike Wallace and Terrell Pryor that was obviously overpaid. Sammy Watkins is 24. But does any of these guys or are any of these guys possession receivers? That's the question. They don't even say how many receptions, just yards. We got no thousand. We got one close to a thousand. Javis Landry. This guy's going to want to get paid more. This is his rookie contract ending. But those are the types you look at. But look at that 8.8. .8. But you have to look at the bigger picture. You have to say, oh, is the system. Four fumbles. <laughs> That's a major red flag. There's not really anything that really pops out here that warrants discussion anymore. So, you look at tight end. <clears throat> Jimmy Graham. This would be an interesting pick. I believe he is very good. He's 31.
The Raiders at times had problems at the tight end. In the end of the season, Cook wasn't looking the same as he was earlier. <clears throat> Maybe it was Derek Carr. I mean, Derek Carr was not looking good himself. I think Gruden likes players that are experienced, who can be relied on, relied upon. I'm almost sure Lee Smith is gone. Just looking through the list. Nothing's really going to pop out. But there's a whole other avenue, and it is trading. <clears throat> the Raiders could be very um, involved in trading. Who else do the Raiders need? Now in Cincinnati, what kind of a defense do they run? I do not know. Inside linebackers. Navarro Bowman. He's going to want to get paid a little more than this. <clears throat> he came to the Raiders and got their first interception. Rather dramatically. It had to be dramatic. I mean. There's going to be some players on this list. Let me look at it. I would bring back Bowman. Only because you saw him. You know what he was doing. I mean, you know what he was capable of. But he's definitely going to want more than that. Depending on what kind of defense you run, you might need more help at the inside linebacker. You might look at Demario Davis. Well, you might not. What are the things the Raiders need? The Raiders look at a running back. Was <laughs> Le'Veon? He'll be he'll be capped again. Running back isn't as valued as it used to be. You're not going to see any more Herschel Walker trades. Let's not forget about tackle on the Raiders. The Raiders had a lot of problems protecting Derek Carr. This included on the left tackle with Penn and the right tackle with Newhouse and company. That's funny. The 
Patriots, both their tackles, the free agents. Solja is the uh, left tackle, and he's the highest rated free agent for left tackles. And after him is uh, Waddle. Of course, on the Patriots, you're allowed to hold, so you got to take that into account. You can't just jump at these guys and think they'll do well in your system if you're not allowed to hold like a Patriot player is allowed to. And you're allowed to chop block and do all sorts of other things. Remember in the Raider Patriot game, I think Mac went a little low on uh, Brady, and they chopped him, and he was limping. But Mac, after that, he didn't take over the game. I'm sorry. I mean, I think, I think you have to look realistically. Uh, if you overpay Mac. It's going to hurt the entire team. I have not seen him take over a game like some other players do. Show it. All the guys on this list... Uh, fairly cheap. And this website is not doing any help by excluding any sort of stats for these players. Really should show how many quarterback hits, sacks they gave up. That'd be most helpful. Do you see left tackles the same? Soldier got 10 million. Solder. And the Patriots, I believe, are like somewhere around $18 million under the cap or something like, something like that. 17, 18 million. <clears throat> but you certainly got to look. At this list, you got to look at the um, draft. Next rated. The Raiders need a quarterback. Derek Cobb better, he better really get on the ball. He has an area. Safety. And it's expected that Reggie Nelson will not be brought back. That's the general feeling. He's 34. I'm not one of those people that are high on Carl Joseph. I don't affectionately call him Cujo. He arrived injured, has been injured, and he regularly gets beat by tight ends. What's the love? Wow, look at all these X Raider players on the list. Tyvon Branch, Nate Allen. There's a lot of safeties uh, to look through. Just the year before, Reggie Nelson had five, five um, interceptions. He had one this year. Trey Boston. At five, he's twenty five. I 
And I think they'll really look at this. Look at the safety position. Look at the people on the roster. Like Joseph. Like, um... Obi. If Obi can be taught how to play football, he doesn't seem to have football instincts, and that was the knock against him. And he can't keep healthy. And he might be, that might be indications he's more of an athlete than anything else. He appears to be a good tackler, because he can get to the he can get to where he needs to get to, but doesn't have the instinct to uh, to function. But it might be the Raiders' defense. Who knows? Raiders' defense was pretty pathetic. I mean, historically pathetic. But they will certainly look at someone like Trey Boston or someone else on this list Depending on the type of defense, I guess they're going to bring in Gunther. We'll see. Didn't the Raiders have someone on a defensive coordinator and Gunther before? I mean, there's a lot of young players on this list. They definitely need help there. And you can never have enough cornerbacks and safeties, in my opinion. They do get banged up. Here's a problem. I'm going to call it a problem. Because I remember the, another time when the Raiders lost their long center. This is going way back. I think it was in the 80s or something. 90s. They lost a long center that they didn't have for a long time. I think it was around the time Jeff George was quarterback. I can't remember the guy's name. And they... I forget who they brought in. Or they used a rookie or something. I don't know. But it didn't work out. And what happened was... The Raiders uh, were awful on special teams. Kicking field goals. Extra points. I mean, just awful. They went 4-12. and 12 And they missed... A, I mean, it was a lot of close games. A lot of missed field goals. So this is an area they have to, this is an extremely important area. John Condo was the uh, Raiders long snapper. And he was considered reliable. And you think of long, long snapper, that's all they do. They snap the ball. They don't do anything else. It's not, it's not something you want to skimp on. As you can see, a lot of these guys are very old on this list. Because they don't do too much. A little condo has been injured for a whole season before. Or well, part of a season. I don't know if they bring him back. He says he wants to come back. But this is an area of concern, trust me. There's no valuation listed here of any sort. You can see what the salaries are. They're just about all the same. It's a specialized position. It's an area the Raiders cannot screw up. Wait a minute, John Gruden likes fullbacks, doesn't he? Yeah, how about <clears throat> Olawali? Was he even used this year? I mean, I don't know why. I don't understand. I did not understand the Raiders' offense this year. They would come out like on first and second down to the same with a single back set. And it was the same time, basically. Nothing. There was no, no mixing things up. No, no action pass. It was awful. 
I'm simple. They're definitely better than that. Pullback is a die-in. Oh. I thought I was stopping. Pullback is a die-in position. But the Raiders have the work to do. I don't agree with Donald Penn saying that just retooling and Gruden's coming in here and we're, we're ready to go with a bunch of hungry, hungry, hungry dogs. Uh, he might be some stray dogs pretty soon. I hope he doesn't come in there and think everything's all set. Because I don't think it is. I think they got a lot of problems. I think they have a lot of wide receiver. And I wouldn't just bank on it that it was some sort of problem with down or something. Your car needs to be in many ways. The offensive line has got to be improved. They cannot enter the season without doing something with those tackles. They have to improve the tackle position. Say what you want about what's his name from the year before, right tackle. The one that came from the Jets. Can't remember his name now. But he was the one that was pulling in that Denver game and uh, knocking those uh, Denver linebackers around. He often got beat by speed rushes. But last year, the right tackle position, it just he wasn't doing anything. He was getting beat by speed rushes, any rusher, and it was also not blocking well and running. So Raiders really need to address the tackle position. I think that's crucial. Long snapper, do not overlook it. If they're not going to go with the condo, if not going to bring them back, um, I would bring them back for continuity reasons. have to look at wide receiver. You cannot sit there and assume Amari Cooper and Michael Crabtree can be straightened out and also what's his name? Uh, Roberts. Just the drop pass is unbelievable. A lot of it has to do with Derek Carr too. Like I said, he needs to be straightened out. They need to have more confidence on offense like they did. Um... I don't know where it, I don't know how it got lost. I mean, it was, it's pathetic. They definitely need to look at defense. Uh, it would be so good to get Mac, someone, an elite player on the opposite side. An elite player, not Urban. An elite player. Improve the tackle. You know, because that's where it all starts on defense. It starts on the defensive line. You get pressure, you stop you stop the run, and you get pressure on the quarterback, and good things happen behind you. Good teams, they solve that problem first. And good things will happen. I look forward to seeing what Gruden has to say today, and How he plans on fixing this whole thing. I hope they ask him some good questions and they don't ask those stupid, just common questions like, how was the process? Blah, blah, blah. No, get right to it. What do you want to do on the roster? What is the direction of this team? How, do you, how are you planning to direct this team? What kind of offense do you want to run? What kind of defense do you want to run? Ask him some other questions. Don't stupid newspaper questions. I hate reporters. Never ask hard questions because they're afraid of getting kicked out of the room. And they don't like more interesting questions. 
I know Gruden's going to sidestep anything if you ask him about individual players. He'll say, like, we'll see. Uh, I haven't evaluated anything yet, blah, blah, blah. But get into it with him. Make the press conference a little more interesting. Make it a little more confrontational, like uh, with the L. Davis. Those were famous. With the L. Davis, you look forward to them. The, uh, the L. Davis um, press conferences were famous. He'd have the overhead projector. You know, he'd have his staff uh, running copies off of memos on the mimeograph. And, you know, it was just... <laughs> it was something else. And he would always he would always confront the reporters. What's your name? Where are you from? I don't think it's gonna be as good as that. We got Mumbles uh Mackenzie and it should be interested what his role is. Interest in what his role is. I think they're gonna butt heads, like I said. I think he may want to trade for something. He might want to shake up the roster or something. I mean, I don't. I know you don't normally get really great things via trades, but it depends on what the the other team is doing. What are they trying to do with salary cap? Whatever you know. And what would the Raiders trade for? I don't know. Free agency should be interesting. Who do, who does Dallas have um, franchise tagged? I don't know if this list. It. Do they still have uh, Tony Romo franchise tag? <laughs> I don't know if it's on this list. I mean, the highest salary is uh, the left tackle. That's a lot. Cap it. $17.5 million. There's Des Bryant. Next Raider, Mayo. So you're saving a lot of money right now on Daz Prescott, Dak Prescott, Daz. Maybe he should change his name to Daz now. Don't know what they got coming up on the horizon. They're definitely going to have problems in a few years, just like all teams have on this. They get these stars. But I think they're still behind. They only just selected, what's his name? The little midget guy. The running back. If you watch the movie, it's, a, it's an exploitation movie. Kind of like a grindhouse movie. It's called Bloodsucking Freaks. There's a little midget in it. That is uh, their running back. I can't even remember his name right now. <clears throat> Ezekiel Elliott.
can't find that defensive end. Don't tell me he's working for free. Go back to the free. So I gotta solve that problem right now. Marcus Lawrence. How come he's not on that list? My eyes are failing me. I'm sure he will be salary capped or something and they'll have a contract for him. I can't emphasize enough. The Raiders need to, um... Oh, I, I know why. They're not showing this because he's a free agent. They, um... They need to move to Vegas right now. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care about you cry, baby. Oakland, blah, 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 crap. I'm talking money. I'm talking they need, uh... They need to uh, attract free agents, and the best way to attract them is, but also taxes. Look at Jacksonville. Jacksonville was able to sign a lot of free agents because of taxes. Cannot emphasize that enough. I mean, this is, this is, uh, what do you call it? This is January, dreaming. The Raiders could get this guy. Opposite Mac. It's not going to happen. But, we can imagine it happening right now. He didn't get paid anything. He's going to want to get paid a lot. I don't know if the, uh, like I said, I don't know if Cowboys have franchise tag anyone or Anyone would be franchise tagged. Uh, does free agent go by? Let's go by Dallas. This is Dallas. Restricted free agents. And. Got a right tackle. Coming up. Don't know how much they value their right tackle. But I imagine they value their offensive line quite a bit. X rated Bryce Butler. Doesn't appear they have too much going on here. They do have a couple offensive linemen. Hey, stranger things have happened, but I guarantee he's going to be capped to Marcus Lawrence. But one good thing for the Raiders, things that would like, you know, turn them into something else. I want to see the Raiders have a good defense and a good offense. Why not? That's what the Patriots are. Let's do it.